channel so this is like a continuation of the previous video i made yesterday night i actually visited the first place i visited was village chief where i went to have um the local delicacy but guess what the customer service was terrible like guys i couldn't even imagine myself sitting down for one hour like solid one hour ordered like okay there's they have different sizes of keg of palm wine right the smallest keg contains like two cups of um, palm wine then the medium contains like four cups then the big contains like six cups and they're about so i said okay they should give me the medium keg that's the one that um, contains the four cups then i was seated thinking because i actually ordered for the four cups of palm wine thinking that my ukwabi was gonna come so that i could actually eat them together like you know after eating the ukwabi i'll use like the cups of um palm wine to you know wash it down to escort it down to give it a good you know digestion do you know Lee for this girl, the customer care? I, I forgot to film her because she actually, she, that was a very bad customer service. Honestly, I was so disappointed. That was my first time actually going there. And I actually had intention of actually doing a review for them. Not like they're paying me for it. Do you understand? There are places I go to. If you watch some of my channels, there are places I go. I just put them up in my channel. They are not paid for it, but there are places I just go and, you know, have fun, enjoy myself, sit out and just while away some time when I have free time and that's it when I enjoy their service I put it up on my channel but this particular one that was actually my first time going there how did I even know about them I saw someone that I know you know put up well, like I know it was on Instagram I saw someone put up the keg of palm wine and the calabash the whole looked so local and I liked it and I asked the person please where was this and the person told me it was at village chief in Abuja so I checked them up on Instagram got their address called them and they described the place for me I got there and then from their attitude from the waiters from the attitude they even give I don't know maybe because I went there alone you know a society where when a lady is out alone they are not seen as i don't know i don't understand do you get so probably because i went there alone as a lady so they didn't want to accord me the respect they should but it wasn't the same for the other place i went to where i went to finally had the hobby they respected me so much in fact one of the um waiters male waiters had to even escort me to the car and then even when i was coming in they came out to actually look out for me because i didn't actually know the place in particular he had to come out yes and the thing is at this second place okunkwa is the name of the place please you guys check the place out it's a very nice place they, they, they're not paying me for this but the customer care was top notch i didn't know the place i went there once but i couldn't place my way again so the second time i went i had to call them and the customer care actually came out it was at night he came out looked for me waited for me where he had to like a landmark that he gave me i even passed him he had to still walk down and then help me go get a place to park then walk down back with me into the restaurant trust me guys these people have massive customers like a lot of people patronize them and they served me so well i was even alone that night they served me so well in fact the, everyone even though they had so many customers they were really looking out for me after i was done eating they actually opted to also help me escort me to the car because the place is a very crowded place extremely crowded do you understand so he actually opted to also escort me back to the car they were so concerned about my security and i just wonder why would such little you know little effort from people you spend money on these are restaurants you spend money on for them to pay their waiters i don't understand maybe some of these waiters don't realize that is the money that customers pay to eat or or for pay for their services that they are used to pay their salary it's like they don't understand that fact so when i went to that if she actually kept me for one hour after she served me with the Palm wine that was not even palm whining. I didn't even understand that palm wine. It tasted like saccharine. And honestly, this is not like trying to downplay their effort or anything, but the service was so terrible. Keeping me for one hour was uh, was actually very annoying because I had already placed the order and I was already drinking the palm wine. I got tired of drinking the palm wine. Palm wine was too sugary. It was too sweet. It's not the kind of palm wine I know. But then I was tired of drinking. I needed to eat it with something. And every time I called the girl, there's this lackadaisical attitude she gives. 
She will ignore me and act as if no one is talking to her. And then she will go and attend to where there are some men with ladies or a man seated alone. After attending to them, then she will turn and continue with what she's doing. I have to call her more than three, four times before she will now just reluctantly come and tell me, eh, madam, your order is still um, on the end. They are still working on your order. When it's ready, I'll bring it for you. Only for this lady. When I, it was even me that kept calling her to be reminding her how far with my order. She now went and came back smiling sheepishly and annoyingly. Smiling at me and telling me that, ah, please, oh, that my order, um, that I can't get my order again, that, that Unkwabi is finished. No, please, I'm sorry. No, please, madam, it's not my fault. Oh, no courtesy. She just said, and uh, um, the Unkwabi is finished, too, that she didn't know that it was the last one somebody ordered before I ordered. And I said, then why did you have to keep me here for one hour? You allowed me to place palm wine, order on palm wine. I've already started drinking my palm wine. And then you didn't even, t and at that same, that same night, I had an outing with some of my friends. So I decided to like ditch that one, come and have my local delicacy, then go hang out with them. It was a friend's birthday. And she said and that she didn't know that someone had already placed the order before me. That it was when she now went back, they now said that they served the last one. And also that then you kept me here. And I thought that what will happen is how much is your pan wine? I paid for the pan wine. And I thought that, well, I can't finish this of pan wine because I ordered for half keg of pan wine. I showed you guys the pan wine, not like the big keg, like that calabash, kind of calabash looking keg of pan wine. I thought that I can't finish it. Number one, is too sugary. Secondly, I actually sat here thinking that I would be able to eat the pan wine. I mean, eat the unkwabi with the pan wine. Okay, what do you have? Do you have a bacha? That no abacha. So what do you want me to do that? And those orders are not available. It's only rice. was giving me some kind of odd... And I told her, Madam, please just give me back because I've already paid her for the pan wine. I told her, please give me back my money for the pan wine. Like, give me for part of the pan wine because I think I, I drank only one cup. Either I just told her that I took two cups so that it would be that they carried the money. Let it don't be that I'm cheating anyone. She was not like, eh, that she already entered it in the system. I was like, so is it my fault? I asked you for Nkwabi. You don't have. You After keeping me here for an hour, you didn't even feel apology. And then secondly, you don't even feel like even saying sorry. I didn't even tell her all this once. I thought that you kept me here for an hour. That's not enough. And then I'm asking you now to give me a bacha. You don't have it. So all these are not my business. If you can provide any of those two, then fine. But so long as you can't provide any of those two, I can't sit down here drinking a pan wine that I'm not even enjoying. And then you even made me, you have already removed my mood. Like you've spoiled my mood and all of that. She does not like, eh, that she would get back to me. She now went to call. I don't know whether it was the manager. I don't know the lady she spoke to. That one now came to say all the things she could say. And eh, that if I had known, I wouldn't have paid her for all the pan wine, of all the cups of pan wine or whatever she was saying. That they've already entered it in the system with the account. I said, Madam, I don't care. It is none of my fault. Like, I don't know whether sometimes they don't train some of these customers. I don't, I mean, sorry, they don't train some of these um, waiters to understand that customers are actually brain behind their business. And if you don't treat me well, I can't make references to people to bring people to your place. Do you understand? I can't bring people because the customer care was so bad. The customer care service was so bad. And then the lady that actually spoke to me had to go and do all the work she had to do. Then kept me for like another 10 minutes. Then went to bring my balance and gave me. She was even the only one that I think she said, she, well, she, did she even say sorry about that? I mean, she just said, here is your money, ma'am. And she left. She didn't even say, no, I don't think she said sorry. And I just looked at my, even the second, like the second cup of palm wine that I actually poured. I didn't even drink it again, I just left it there. Because I was not like, what's all this one? Like you're not begging people to come and eat your food, but we are up to come and pay and eat, then you should treat people well because it's from treating your customers well, one, two, three customers, they'll bring more than 10, yes, five, 10 people to your place. And then I just got upset. That was when I now went to my friends where we're having like a get together, like a birthday buffet. I went there and they were trying to like cheer me up, you know, to make me happy and all. Oh. Hey. So guys, do you know, oh, I actually so had to leave the village That's chief yeah. and I got here. I'm still trying to recover from the so annoyance. Like, yeah. Like yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> After they come here, I'm trying to like recover my test board. Start from the wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so like I'm having a get together. Come out with my anything. Friends. It's funny the aesthetics. You know? <laughs> this is Long Island. I'm already. I'm here with my friends. Friend. No, friend. no, don't no, mind. You guys, please just ignore the voice on the background. Yeah, thank you.
had a very bad experience. He said, mm -mm. he said, no, no, for me. Maybe it was just an unfortunate day for them to have actually attended to me. Maybe it was one of their bad days. I don't know. But mm -mm. it was a very bad experience for me. And I don't even think I'll go back there again. You know, some of my friends I was asking, like, have they been to the village? They were like, no, they don't even know the place. Some people that said they know the place, they were like, they don't usually go there. They used to go to Ibro Fish. There's another place close to there where they sell, um, you know fish as in roasted fish and all and i mean if anybody from attendance or whatever is watching me you need to go and train your staffs honestly or staff you need to go and train them because maybe it's even that bad customer care service that's making people not really know the place honestly it was so and i saw the way they were actually touching people in fact after i hung out with my friends we went to somewhere where, to, where we went to hang out and we got stuck at the elevator yeah okay, just calm down and listen guys shit is getting crazy we got stuck at the elevator we got stuck at the elevator and then i'm wearing the face mask please we are hot though wait, 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 guys, let's keep there are some people actually panicking yeah? hello Press zero. Press zero. we are going to do it now we are actually not checking we are press zero severally yeah to open I'm it. I'm listening to them and just. I'm, I'm listening. Listen, I'm listening. Please, are you trying to open it? They are not a special. Yes, they are. 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 Relax, relax. Come down. Some people are actually choking. Please, open it. But thank God we got out. The security people came through for us. God helped us. And then they broke. Not like they broke it. They forced the door open and we jumped out of it. Actually, we literally jumped out of the elevator. Imagine. After the whole, you know, party and then getting stuck at the elevator, we ended up going to um, like a lounge to just go have some couple of drinks and just to end the night. Hmm. Then the next day, I decided to still satisfy my taste buds because I wasn't really happy. Not like I wasn't happy. I was craving for the Mkwabi. Mkwabi is a local delicacy made mostly with cow leg. It's a Nigerian local delicacy and I really like it. I don't know, suddenly I just had craving it. <laughs> So I was like, okay, and I'm someone that once I'm craving something, if I don't satisfy those taste buds, nothing will really taste good in my mouth until I eat that stuff and then satisfy my taste buds. And I'm like, okay, I'm fine now. So I can now go on with my daily activities. I went to have it at um, Okonfo. Yes, I, the name of the place I went to is Okonfo. Honestly, you guys should try out that place. They have very good customer care service. They are meals there are african even though i think they have they, yeah they do not the, i think they do because in their menu i saw some of the they have some intercontinental dishes but they specify basically on local meals they have um they also make fried rice and they also make shawarma and stuff like that but it's basically like the restaurant is mostly local stuff like a bacha that's african salad mkwabi goat head and salad, white soup, all those very local um, Nigerian meals. That place is so nice. And like I said earlier, they actually came out at night. They have, hey, guys, when you're going there, just go there prepared because there are so many people. They usually have crowd. And honestly, their customer service is really good. Like, they look out for their customers. And they are very, they are, they are active. When they are attending to customers, they... They are lively, they make you feel comfortable with them. They are not all acting as if no you are sending them or anything. So that this here is the clip from my Okonfo outing of going to have Unkwabi and glass of palm wine. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm at Okonfo. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm at the inner court. I want to go outside. Let me let me quickly show you guys how this place looks like.
permanent tasted so good. A lot of people were ordering it that day because I think that day it was freshly tapped. I was so satisfied with the palm wine. Imagine a glass I took. It tasted like the, the palm wine I actually, that's the first time I'm actually tasting a very good palm wine in this Abuja. I'm not kidding. And maybe I'm, I was just lucky to get it that day. I don't know if they always have it like that, but that day's own was, it was good. I had one glass and just tasted like coconut water. The way palm wine, original palm wine tastes like from the village and then, you know, that one glass you will take. Hmm. If you are not careful, you will know where you are. Well, that will be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up, like, share, and please post a comment below to tell us if you've ever had a bad experience and how was your reaction with the waiter or the waitress or the manager or whatever. Okay, thank you so much. I love you. Have a nice day. See you in my next video. Bye.